Yo, yo, what's cracking, Big E? First and foremost, thank you for coming by and getting this interview done with me. All right, thank you for having me, my boy. All day. Uh, so we about to get a crack in. Let's get right into it. So first and foremost, I, I want to take it back to like when I first heard of you, E, and, and that was back in the day, like when I saw your killer video, like that's that's when I realized like, oh shit, like there's this new artist coming out and shit and he's coming yeah. in hard. Like I didn't even like, I had no idea who you were. It's just like the video came out of nowhere and I'm like, oh fuck, like this was cracking. You know? yeah, yeah. So can you talk to us a little bit about that video? Like how was the process? Like what made you feel like, all right, then like I'm, I'm gonna get a crack and I'm gonna do this video like, and pretty much start taking it serious from that point moving forward. Cause I know it ain't easy to put yourself out there like that. Not a lot of people, not just anybody could do shit like that. Um. When I made that video, it was it was like just off the fly. Uh, I was recording at the time with Young Lord and uh, Terminal Music, and I was using their studio. Um, and one of the camera guys right there, Francisco Geronimo, he happened to be in the studio, and he hit me like, hey, if, if you're serious about music, like, get at me, we'll make a music video, and um, if you like it, you know, let, let put it out. Yeah, so he's pretty much the one that sparked sparked that idea up of a music video. Did you even have that in mind? Nah, or not? I did it. You I, I wasn't like you were just recording songs and shit. Yeah, yeah. But he was right there, so he was just like, "Hey, like, put up the funds and and you know we'll, we'll make a music video." And I went back to hood, told the homies like, "Hey, I'm gonna do a music video," and they were kind of like, "What? Like, what do you mean music video? Like, you know?" Did they even know that you were rapping at the time or not? Nah? Yeah, yeah. I've I've always rapped with the homies. Like, if anything, those are like the main fools that tell me like, "Hey, dog, like, take this shit serious because you, you got some talent," you know, but. But yeah, those was always know I was rapping, but like when it came time to take it serious, I I, I told them straight up like I'm gonna do a video in the hood, and um, if you guys want to come out and be a part of it, like come, you know. And homies came out, showed me love, and that's the best feeling is when your people are behind you. Like that's what's support. up because that's what I was gonna ask you next. I was I was about to say like how was the feedback like just coming out of nowhere, you know, because. You came like straight from you know left field and shit. Like how I'm pretty sure like you got feedback from like your homies and like your peers and your fam and shit. Like yeah. was were they like supportive and shit or? I mean, you? the homies, yeah. Some homies, some you know. There's always a couple homies that just they kind of don't understand what you're trying to do. You know, yeah, yeah, they don't sure. they don't they don't like cameras. They don't like um, anything like that around them. So when you bring a camera crew in, they they kind of just get thrown off. But more and more homies are getting more like comfortable around it and. Like my family though, they've been. Oh yeah, super were they supportive. tripping out? Like especially like you know, saying like all the gang banging shit. You know, like was your family like, kind of tripping out? Nah, I mean, well, like maybe some of them, but most of them already know. Like that's just how we were living or how we are. So they were just kind of like, oh, so it was pretty much like no secret to them. Yeah, but some of them, some of them were tripping though. Some of them were kind of like, damn, like they thought that like I was gonna get hurt. My first video, they thought like, hey, like be careful, you're putting yourself out there. You know, like be careful. And um, as more videos came out and I started progressing like they the same one shout like got reached back to me and they were just like I see you doing something good like just be careful but I see you doing something yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. proud of you so that, that, that feels like, good you know so pretty much you got some like positive feedback and shit like you know everybody had pretty much having your has your back and shit like, yeah yeah nobody's yeah. really you know like uh, like you said there's always gonna be like little haters and shit you know little little comments you know little shit like that, yeah, that you always get people that like comes that. with it though like if yeah. you can't handle those little comments then you shouldn't even be rapping for definitely real. I feel you 100% yeah because you know you're gonna get that shit regardless like you be the best motherfucker out there and you still gonna get some negative ass shit exactly. you know? and you can't be letting shit like that hold you back yep all right then so i want to fast forward a little bit and shit um uh, to now you know uh recently uh, i know that you just dropped your new album and and i wanted to talk a little bit about that like um it's called holding me back uh why'd you call it holding me back uh just at the time i had made a song with the homies from slum boys the group and um we made that song before i even thought about the project we made that song and when we made it like, just the vibe in the studio, that shit was like, that was like, you know, the energy was right there. So I was in the studio, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make this project. This is gonna be the, the first song on the project. I'm gonna name it Holding Me Back, and I'm gonna run with it. And fucking, uh, that's the first song on the project, Holding Me Back. And at the time, too, I just felt like there's just a gang of stuff holding me back, you know? Like, the street shit could hold you back. Cops fucking with me, trying to do like a little sneaky shit, a little stupid shit. Um, Anything, you know, anything holding me back. I was just, I felt like this was my little, like, get up off me, you know? I feel you. And, and I heard the album, and, and one of my favorite tracks on the album, I got to say, is, is Deeper Than Rap with VLTG. Yeah. Like, straight up. I don't know why, but the hook yeah. just fucking got me. Like, And oh, it's crazy, because, like, that song, it wasn't even for the project. The the homie Lil Trust, that who shot me the beat and was like, hey, I need you on this. 
And um, I, you know those shoes, the homies forever. So I was like, I got you. So I, I threw my verse on it. That shit was so fucking tough that I hit him like, die. Like I need this. Like I need this fucking track for my for my my project. Um, the homies, those were the homies. So this was like, hey, who that's yours? You know, that's you right there. So I ended up putting it on the project. I feel you. I feel you. And I, I seen that you had you know a few features and shit. Well, first and foremost, how'd you even get clicked up with VOTG? Like you know, so they're from the LA area. We're from over here. Like how how did you get clicked up with them in the first place? To be honest, I through Instagram. Like the homies would just show love through DMs. I'll show love to them and. And like I've always like listened to them to Lil Silent when he was putting out the, his oldest tracks. I've always listened to them, so it was like it was a no brainer. Like I'm gonna hit these fools up and we're gonna get some shit happening. Even when I told my homies I was making music with them, they were kind of like tripping out, like what the VOTG, like for real. So I clicked up with them. Those fools are humble, super humble dudes. Every time I go to their hood, they show me nothing but love. We're always welcome right there. Likewise with them. But yeah, we just you know. Yeah, that's what's up. I, I remember when we recorded one of the first projects that I recorded with you was with VLTG when yeah. they came down to Oxnard, yeah. and uh, yeah, they were nothing but fucking just good vibes and yeah, humble, humble and humble shit. Humble like yeah, like, yeah. Most fucking rappers and shit be all acting hard or like just doing the most. These people just themselves. You know? Yeah, hundred percent. I, I, I feel you. Yeah, they're just genuine, cool ass motherfuckers for sure. Yeah, shout out to VLTG for sure. Uh, all right, is there any uh, is there any specific song from that album that that hits you hard like that that you fuck with that that's your personal favorite from that album? There's a few that I fuck with heavy like um, that song "Fuck 'Em All." I wrote that shit while my second daughter was being born. I was in the the delivery room, we're just waiting for her to be born, and um, the homie the homie fucking Aunt Tweezy shot me a beat, and I started spitting on that shit. Fuck, you know that was one of like my like that shit hits me because I'm I feel like I'm just talking my shit like I'm just like just talking everything you know. What made that come to you like being being there like why still being delivered like what that how would that come to you there like just, we're just feeling like some sort of way at the moment and shit you know. Yeah, it was crazy because even when I had my first daughter, um, the homie now is Davis. He sent me a badass beat right when I was in the delivery room. He was like, "Hey, this is a gift to you like you know for, like I have my daughter." And that song ended up being on like Mr. Capone's fucking compilation, and that ended up being a big song, that Bang Bang song, you know. Yeah. So like, I, I was just like, "Fuck, I'ma go." So then when he sent me the beat this time, I was kind of like, "Dang!" Like, it was like meant for me to write on this beat. I feel, and um, we were just hanging out. You know how it takes time and stuff. We're having a baby. Yeah, you're just hours. killing time and shit. You know. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Oh wait, was all my life on there? On that album? Nah, nah it wasn't? Nah. Well, fuck. All My Life, one of my favorite tracks for sure. I would say, like, top three for sure. Yeah, all all just, My Life. Uh, I wish I, could, I I actually need to make more songs like that, like, where I'm just fucking rapping over old beats. And yeah, you just brought, like, that old that fucking, that old school fucking feeling shit like that, that that hardcore rap, hip-hop shit, you know, that raw shit, you know, from back in the day. Like, like that's what I grew up to and shit. So that's what I felt when I heard one that. One of my favorite like, songs for sure. Fucking, you went hard on this Even shit. the video, too, like, just walking through the hood, like that's literally like where I grew up right there. So just being right there is it's love, you know? Hell yeah. So let's move forward. Um I wanna talk a little bit about uh life we chose. Um I know it as a clothing line, but it's it's a brand, right? Like it's your brand. I see you're rocking it and I just noticed you're rocking it and you're rocking the hey, you're rocking the sweater and shit like that. But yeah, talk a little bit about life we chose. Why why'd you choose life we chose? What does life we chose mean to you? That's that phrase, that name. What you know, can you speak a little bit about that? I mean, like, when I first thought about it, it wasn't that deep. I wasn't thinking that deep. I was just, since I was younger, like, uh, I've had older friends just, like, tell me, like, you know, we all have friends that are incarcerated and stuff. And one of my friends would write to me, and I was a younger kid, so he would write to me trying to, like, guide me and when I would be in trouble. And he told me, like, one time, this is the life we chose. Like, what will you do? All your uh, decisions that you make, you're going to pay the consequences. So be careful what you choose. And, um... I ended up running with that. I just used it to, I use it with everything I do. Um, even before I made music, like like seriously, I would I would still say Life We Chose on my SoundCloud. But um, uh, I just decided to make a shirt one day with the Life We Chose, the very first Life We Chose shirt. Um, and that shit blew up. Like everyone right away bought a shirt. I sold out my shirts right away. And um, I was like, damn, like this shit, this shit could work, you know. I I didn't really think of like people were gonna gravitate to it, gravitate to it like that. Yeah. But I mean, fuck, anybody sees a life we chose anything like you already know Big E, you know, Big, you already know like that that they come uh, hand in hand like Big E, life we chose, like you know that shit's yeah. they're both big and shit and. I've been seeing a lot of people rocking it too in the city. I know people be tripping out. They're like, "Hey, I just seen this person wearing your your clothes right here," and I'm like, "Well, yeah, like 
That's 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 what I want to hear. You know, I don't want to hear people be like, I don't even see no one wearing your shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's what it's for and shit. But I seen like all kinds of fucking designs too. Like you have all kinds of designs. You know, motherfuckers, we be like printing like one or two designs, but you have like fucking shitload. Like you're like deep into this. Shit. But it's because people be picky too. So like, I be trying to like, I be trying to make sure everyone has a design that they like or mess with. But like starting this year though, I'm gonna kind of try to like to be more reserved with my designs and just like one drop at a time and. Be more like you know into it. Right now, I'm just doing like where someone orders something on the website. I just make it real quick, but it's kind of getting a little like hard because I'm by myself. I do this all on my on my on my lonely. You know what I mean? I don't have no helpers really, so I do everything by myself. So it's kind of easier just to do orders like where I just get a big old drop and then um, put them out there. You know? Do you ever like? I mean, because you got a, a pretty good buzz. Um, I mean, I be in a lot of different cities and shit like that, and you're one of the names that a lot of people mention to me all the time and shit. Like, yeah. hey, you know Big E? Like, yeah. Yeah, that's, home. that's the boy right there. Hell yeah, I know yeah. Big E. Yeah, like, but a lot of people be, like, recognizing your name and shit. Like, is it like that here in the city, too? Like, in Austin, like, do be people be running into you? Like, Yeah, hell yeah, I get, I get love. Like, if anything, I get a lot of love. I be fucking pumping gas, fools. Like, hey, you know? And, and they're always walking up to me, like, where I be thinking, like, hey, what the fuck, fools trying to trip or fuck? No, these fools are like, hey, dog, fucking... You, you got you get down. I love your music, all this stuff, you know. But yeah, I've had people like um, recognize me in front of my family, and that's the most where like my family sees it because they'll be like, "Dang, like what?" Do they know you? Yeah, they they'll, they'll be yeah. tripping out and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah they be tripping out. That's what's up, E. Hell yeah, fucking. All right, so um, we're gonna be wrapping up the interview, um, but I just want to talk about. I know it's been a little hectic and shit, you know, because fucking COVID and all this bullshit happening. Uh, so a lot of shit's been closing down or limited or canceling. Um, is there any any upcoming shows or or any events that you're looking forward to this year or that you know of, at, at least right now? Oh, man, not really. Uh, my boy from the Arizona Super Show, he said this going to be a 10-year, 10 10th year anniversary. So I'm hoping he had let me know that. I might be going out there, but with COVID and everything coming up again, the the uptick on that, I hope it also happens. I might be going out there, but other than that, nothing really. Just um, I'm just trying to make, put more music out. Like I feel like I haven't really put a lot of music out lately. Like I just dropped that album, but some of those songs I had kind of dropped before in the last year, so some of them were like not really that new. But um, I'm working on a gang of projects right now. I already have this project finished with with my uh, homie Bicino. I have a EP dropping with the VOTG soon called Deeper Than Rap. There's like eight tracks on there, all bangers, fucking bad. Um, I'm just trying, yeah, pretty much just drop music, you know, work with artists and stuff. I got I got this song with uh, some cat Jay Bliss out of, uh, I mean Jay Bliss, my bad, out of uh, New York. That was from New York, so like I'm just trying to expand, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to talk, you know, trying to. Yeah, work that's with. what's up. Because I was about to say, like, what, what what do you got planned for? You know, we're we're just starting off. We're just kicking off 2022. Yeah. And uh, we're just getting into the fucking year right now and shit. So I was about, about to ask you, like, you know, what, what, what are your plans and shit? What are your goals? Like, what do you really want to do this year, like, different than, you, than last year or the year before and shit? I just want to get everything right, like, like get my, my clothing right. That's, like, the biggest thing I want to work on this year is, is my clothing, like, getting the um, the behind-the-scenes stuff right, like, taxes-wise or getting my LLC set up, like, stuff like that. Like, I don't have it set up. So um, I'm really trying to get that going. Um, but as music wise, I'm just trying to like pretty much show what I can do because I feel like a lot of people be sleeping on me. Like they don't really, really um respect my craft the way I think people should respect it because I spit real facts and the music I make is is deep and there's songs I made years ago that people could still play it today. That's like it hits and. I feel like there's not a lot of artists that could do that where you make a song that people just want to listen to over and over. Most people make a song and it's like, it's cool for right now and it dies out. But I just want to make music that everyone's going to listen to for a while, you know? Even when I'm gone, who's going to be playing my shit? So, um, shit, is there anybody you want to shout out? Anything you want to say to anybody out there? Um, Damn, there's a gang of people I want to shout out, you know? You already know people will be like, "Hey, you didn't show me out." You got me. Right, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. Oh, I see how it is and shit. Yeah. You didn't mention nah, me. Nah, I just want to shout out the producers, the um, the videographers. You know, people that direct the videos, the fans, my family. I without all them, I wouldn't even be be making music really. But but yeah, shout out to the producers because 
I feel like they don't really get the credit a lot, you know? Speaking of producers, before we wrap this up, I want to talk about a little, about, a little bit about uh, Niles Davis because I know that he's been riding with you for a minute yeah. and he's not even from around here. First and foremost, how'd you guys even click up? Yeah, Niles Davis, that was from Germany, but uh, we clicked up again out of the power of Instagram, fool. Like, yeah. I, I met so many people through Instagram, good people too, not even like, you know, sometimes you meet some weirdos, but I met some really cool, humble people through Instagram and, um, I met him because he, he works with OG Spanky Loco, so I would, you know, see him on, on his page, and I tapped in with him. I tried to buy a beat from him one time on his beat page, but because he's in Germany, something with the bank account didn't go through, or whatever, and he hit me up like, hey, uh, I seen you try to get a beat from me. I was like, yeah, I did, but it didn't go through. He was like, well, like, just you trying to buy it, that's love, so um, I'm going to shoot it to you for free, and um, I ended up making a song to it, and then the video that ended up being too cool. With him oh, featuring yeah, on the that's hook, one of my yeah, top three for sure. and too. and like that was like the beginning of of our like how we started a relationship, making music and all that stuff. And then like I said, he sent me a beat when I was uh, having my firstborn, the Bang Bang um, track. And then he even helped me with the uh, Till the Wheels Fall Off song I made. That song took me t- took me a little cross, you know. People mess with that song heavy, so uh, yeah, random, just random people you could meet and they'll take you further than someone that you know that you've been knowing your whole life shit yeah facts that's true you know sometimes sometimes strangers be showing a lot more love you know yeah. than people that are, that are close to you or around you and shit like that I don't know why but yeah. that's the way it goes and shit yeah. so fuck it so anyways appreciate you coming by Big E fucking all love you oh, know, hey, thank you for one. having me my boy since day one and shit you know there's a lot of people that, that you come across by um, in, in this field you know in this game and shit you know yeah. And uh, I got to say that Big E is one of the few that, you know, never switched up on me. He's always stayed humble. You know, I always stayed true and shit. There's never been no funny business and shit like that. It's always been solid. And I really appreciate that. So I just got to let you know. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, G. Thank you, fool. Hell yeah.